So last month I went to New York Comic Con and I had a really good time. I even got to meet Leo Grant, Comic Pop, but also got a chance to demo Project Resistance, which is a team based survival horror game set in the Resident Evil universe. While I was able to take some pictures and videos of the queue, I unfortunately wasn't able to get actual footage of me playing. I asked one of the employees if he didn't mind recording us play, but he said he couldn't, and another employee told my brother was illegal. So either way, it wasn't going to happen. But I still wanted to get my thoughts on what I actually played after taking time for it to actually settle in, and the short answer is I really liked it and I actually can't wait to actually have it in my hands. And here's the long answer. While this isn't the first time Resident Evil has done a survival mode type thing, examples including the Mercenaries, Raid Mode, and Nightmare from Resident Evil 7, Project Resistance is a purely co-op experience, something kept to Dead by Daylight, and the Friday the 13th game. Your team of characters, Sam the Damage Buff, January the Hacker, Valerie the Support, and Tyrone the Tank, have to go through multiple rooms of zombies and monsters while the Mastermind tries to kill you in every turn. The Mastermind has control of the environment and can spawn POWs, also having the ability to take control of a Mr. X Tyrant, which in my personal opinion is the most overpowered weapon in their arsenal, and that even includes the one-hit insta-kills that are the Ivies. The game allows you before the match begins to buy certain items in the shared item box, like health items and sub-weapons, which can honestly come in handy with the endless amount of zombies and monsters the Mastermind can throw at you. What I like about the game is that each member actually has a use, and you actually need them to make progress. If you try to brush the game by yourself, you won't get far and you'll end up screwing over your team. Other than that, it plays like Resident Evil 2, and if you haven't played in a while, it won't take long for your mental reflexes to come back and you'll be gun cutting zombies in no time. But the game has a curve to overcome, which obviously is learning each character's abilities in the proper ways and using it. I played a, like maybe a 20 minute demo, so I really couldn't like get the controls correctly and everything. But I feel like when I have the game in my hands to play whenever I want, I'll get used to it. But it, honestly, the fact that you have to learn these characters from out of time lets a really, really fun and intense moments, which again surprises me how deep and relying that you need to understand these characters and how they play and how to work in overall. And I know that most team based games have these options, but unlike other games of the genre, the actual teamwork really matters and makes or breaks the experience as a whole. I wasn't able to play as a mastermind, but Leo and my brother had the chance and they both said that it was really fun and very expansive. Other than that, it was a really fun game and experience. While many fans wanted a remake of 3, Resident Evil 8, or having a weird feeling it's like an Operation Raccoon City kind of thing, from what I played so far, it was actually really fun, well made, and honestly a game I actually want to invest my time into. While the premise isn't very original, the execution and level of thought obviously had a lot of time and care into it, which honestly makes this definitely an insta buy when it comes out. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe to see more content. I'd like to thank Leo Curve for being a $5 patron, and for $1 a month, you can also be a part of my patron, and your name will show up right here. Any amount would be really appreciated, and it's all going to make the channel the best it can be. Love you guys, and shalom. The game allows you before the match begins to buy certain items in the shared item box, like health items and sub-weapons, which can honestly, ooh, that's not really bad, let's restart.